So I grew up in Scottsdale, Arizona, uh, due to the hot weather year round. My parents moved me uh, when I was five years old to a city called Thousand Oaks. And it was great growing up there uh, because it's one thing that you can do. You can surf, you know, you can ski, snowboard, and go you know, mountain hiking or biking in the same day. So I grew up with a single mom uh, when I was 12 years old. And um, due to some family circumstances, uh, led me to being an entrepreneur and uh, learning that uh, financial wealth at a young age uh, needed to happen in a way to take care of my family. Normal life in a job was, was great, um, especially restaurant job, you know, people came through, um, you know, some good looking people, some people that uh, I loved uh, helping them, uh, serving them, but the problem was I was fighting uh, really against uh, the corporate America aspect of uh, not being able to help someone succeed because I'm fighting against uh, my coworkers for a promotion. When I was 18 years old, I, I finally made a decision that I wanted to help people uh, on a bigger scale and, and not be stuck and capped uh, at a certain weight. I fired my boss uh, at 18 and uh, a lot of heat came my way, um, but I realized that you know uh, every strong decision and there's a power and a choice and if I made that decision I had to live with it. I assigned that by 28 years old I was going to be living in Malibu, California. I'd be taking care of my single mother and my sister that has a $175,000 nursing tuition. I just told that story over and over again and eventually um, the majority of it became a reality. The reality of me being on stage one day and, and impacting people's lives on a huge scale just seems so far, although it was just about 50 feet uh, away, it just seems so unrealistic that I'd never get to that point. These uh, two beautiful women told me uh, two things. They said that the five people I surrounded myself with most, uh, more likely I'd become like them. The second thing they said really stuck with me from 13 to, to now being 24, and she said, and my income will match theirs. I came home, to Thousand Oaks, California, and I surrounded myself with people that were better than me and people that were successful and had the life that I wanted. So many things in life that get in your way, um, you know, sickness, obstacles, death, etc. And I just, I knew exactly, you know, who I wanted to be and where I wanted to be because of them. If you stay focused on the people and you, you know, you, you put the money second, the people first and the money second, uh, you'll actually succeed more and have more financial wealth, and make a difference in thousands of people's lives internationally. And, and sit back and see their growth. To me, that's the best thing that I've gotten in this industry. It's an incredible thing when you can, you know, live this lifestyle of, you know, paddleboarding or, you know, going and playing beach volleyball or doing a barbecue, you know, outside of the pool with the people that, you know, you care for and love most. I got really good at just, you know, ignoring uh, the naysayers and realizing that what my dream is for myself isn't theirs. At the end of the day, if you set a goal and you just you stay focused. It doesn't matter, you just don't hear the noise. I am Armand Anderson. I'm a success coach, I'm a mentor, I'm someone who's very, very driven, and I am a network marketing professional. Ladies and gentlemen, my wish for you is that you will decide to become a network marketing professional. You will decide to go pro because it is a stone cold fact that we simply have a better way. Now let's go tell the world.